This is Easter week. This is the week when we remember the pivotal moment in human history. It's the weekend where we celebrate Jesus' death and resurrection, the time that Jesus came to remove our sins so that we could be forgiven and have eternal life. But many Christians think that's the only reason Jesus came. Some Christians think Jesus came to start a new religion, but that's not true. There were enough religions on the planet at that time. Jesus came to initiate a new relationship with God. Jesus came to reestablish and reconnect a relationship that Adam had broken because of his sin. Jesus came so that we could be reconnected to God the way he originally intended, so we could have a close, personal, intimate relationship with God. That's why he created man, to have that kind of relationship. But there's another reason why Jesus came. And this is where so many Christians get confused, and I certainly was confused myself. You see, we think that Jesus came to show us what God was like and to show us how God could walk with man. In other words, that he came and we were introduced to a supernatural being who did supernatural things that we can't do. And then if we look at Jesus that way, we treat him like a superhero. In other words, he could do extraordinary things that we cannot imitate. We could just admire from afar. And then Jesus came to earth, he did these amazing things and then disappeared. So we could say, well, we had a glimpse of what God was like. But that's not why Jesus came. He did not come to show us how God can walk with man. I learned this from Bill Johnson, the pastor of the Bethel Church in Redding, California. And this just blew my mind when I understood this. He explained that Jesus came to show us how a man can walk with God. You see, Jesus was fully man. He was born, he died. He was completely a man, but he had a supernatural lifestyle because of his relationship with God. So he could do miracles, he could hear the voice of God. And he demonstrated that a man could walk with God this way. And because of the cross and resurrection, which we're celebrating this weekend, we can have that same relationship. So Jesus, in fact, came to demonstrate a new relationship that we could now have with God because of his death and resurrection. So that is incredibly exciting and motivating because that now raises the bar of our expectation of what we could do. So this explains why in John 14, Jesus said that anyone who follows him will do the works that he did and even greater works. That's because we can now walk with God just like Jesus did as a man and do supernatural things with a supernatural lifestyle. Now that's exciting to me. That's not a religion. That is a powerful relationship, which is life changing. So this weekend, when you're celebrating Easter, of course, celebrate your sins are forgiven, you have eternal life, but now you have an open door to have a supernatural lifestyle, to pray for people for their healing, to hear God's voice, to walk like Jesus did, to have that close ongoing conversation with the Father like Jesus did. Now that's exciting and that's something to celebrate this weekend.